Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today talking about the silver wolves. I've had quite a few of you that have contacted me and asked about campfires and stuff like that. Because I already showed a couple little quick tips about how to generate tinder and stuff like that. But quite a few of you have said, you know, look, uh, Blackie, I'm 67 years old. I'm just not that flexible anymore. So what should I do? Well, let me tell you what I would recommend. And since you're pretty much car camping, you're just going out to enjoy the woods or whatever, is get you a little grill or something or whatever. Now, this is a brazier. And what that means in English is this is an old 1700s type of grill, basically. Okay? You got the firebox right in there that you put your coal or whatever into, or in our case, we'd be using charcoal. Get it set up there, right? And then you could sit something directly on top of it, like a finer mesh grill to grill a burger or something like that, or to heat a coffee pot. And then these four outliers where you could sit a coffee pot or something aside to keep it warm, okay? With this tilted back and this open, you could then drop a little bit of fire with it. It's pretty durable too. Try that one more time. With this in here correctly, you could then stand firewood up to the far side and let them self-feed into the fire. Okay? But it doesn't have to be this. It could be just a regular old little barbecue grill or some or hibachi type deal. Anything like that that you feel you can get out there and utilize. Now for the actual fire started. You know, we get to where our hands just don't want to work that well. And especially whenever it's a really cold morning or something like that. So, there is no shame in getting you one of these barbecue lighters. This is a little easier for our old arthritic hands to work than a Bic lighter. Okay, because a lot of times you strike it and you're, you're trying to hold the button and your thumb's too close to the heat and you might burn your thumb. So this way, all I got to do is stick my finger into the thing, push that forward, and click, and I got fire. Just like that. Quick and easy, I can stick down in there and get it going. Now the recommendation that I make to you is the same one that I did for my wife back in the day. Because you'd think with my wife and I being together 32 years that she'd have learned quite a bit. And she has learned a lot from me. But one of the things she has not learned and she don't care flip for is building a fire. Why she got to do that? She's got me. And so I do all the cooking when we're out there just about. I'm the one running the stove or I'm cooking on a fire, etc. So she really don't want to learn how to do a fire. But there were times she needed to be able to do a fire by herself. And so I came up with this method. You remember those old paper lunch bags? You can still buy them at the store that we had when we were growing up. Them old brown paper bags. Get you some of them brown paper lunch bags. They still sell them at Walmart and stuff like that where you find the... Uh, the, the Ziploc pouches and things look along the bottom shelf and you'll find those brown lunch bags. Get those brown lunch bags and go get you a bag of match light charcoal. Match light charcoal already has the starting fluid impregnated into it. And then the bag itself has got a plastic liner to keep it from evaporating and drying out. Okay? So when you take it out of that bag, you need to put it into something to seal up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the paper lunch bag, and we're going to take like six or eight, usually about eight to ten, it just how many fits in the bag, of those pre-made up briquettes and drop them into the paper bag. Roll the top down a little bit and put a little tape on it or staple it. Okay? And then you want to put it into an airtight container. Now what I like is no army can because this has got a seal on it. It'll seal it up and keep that from evaporating. So I can go ahead at home and make up six, eight, ten of them and put them in one of these boxes, okay? Now, whenever you want a fire, either you want to start up your barbecue grill, 
excuse me, or I want to do a actual fire. All I got to do is take out one of them paper bags, sit it on the ground, and take one of these and set the bag on fire. Okay? Once the bag's on fire, it'll ignite that charcoal, and now I can start propping small sticks up on top of it and build a fire. Super, super easy. Very little training required. So again, brown paper lunch bag. Some of that match light Kingsford or whoever's charcoal that's already set up, so all you gotta do is stick a match to it. Put the briquettes into the bag, fold the top of the bag open, fold it over, tape it closed or staple it, and put it into some sort of airtight container that that charcoal is gonna evaporate and therefore be hard to light, okay? Now all I gotta do to build a fire is get out there, pick my place, put a couple of big sticks down, sit that bag in the middle of it, take my lighter, click, click, it's on fire, and I just start piling sticks across the top of the big, into the flames, and you've built a fire. For our arthritic, arthritic hands and our knees and hips, you just don't want to let us get down there at ground level and do all that prep time, Blackie, of shaving and trying to use a ferro rod and etc. This is a fast, easy way that you can build you a campfire. You can cook. If you've got you a little barbecue grill or a little brazier or something, it ain't got to be nothing fancy like that. Just something to heat and cook on. That's all. You can take tent stakes and put them in the ground where a grill sit on top of it and put that bag underneath it and set it on fire and just add sticks, can't you? Two bricks with the grate between it works just fine. Lots of little things we can do. But it's where we can build a fire, we can cook, we can heat up, we can keep warm because once it's going and we just add more sticks, more firewood, it can become a full-fledged campfire. And we can sit back in our chair in the evening with our feet to the fire, enjoy the company, enjoy the, the, the smoke and the, and the people talking and etc., the stars and all like that, and enjoy the campfire. It doesn't have to be a big, difficult thing to build. All we need is a paper lunch sack, some pre-made up charcoal, and a lighter that's it hope you've enjoyed this guys if you have please hit that like button before you go and there'll be more in the civil wolf series coming out till next time guys i'm blackie wishing you safe journeys have a great day guys